the agency season 1 episode 1 opens with a guy swapping phones at a safe house after stepping off a small private plane that has just touched down somewhere in England. This individual is obviously a spy based on his behavior and the sheer number of people around him. A video contact with his handler a little while later confirms this even more. The man, later identified as Martian, is revealed to be a CIA undercover operative as he discusses the events of the previous 48 hours in his life. His primary goal, while residing in Ethiopia under a false name for the previous six years, was to obtain the connections of individuals who could be able to assist the CIA with future missions. In essence, Martian's job was to establish a network of connections for the CIA in the African nation by meeting new individuals and determining if they may be of any interest to the USA, as he explains a little later in the episode. It is also implied that Martian had been stationed in Ethiopia because American intelligence had been concerned that a scenario there would arise that would be detrimental to the United States. However, those days are now over since Martian is being transported back to England and is eventually assigned to a safe house in London after spending hours at several safe houses. Martian discovers that his bosses are continuously watching him while he settles down and checks into the vacant flat. Surreptitiously placed throughout the apartment are many listening devices that would capture and transmit any discussion the agent would have with anyone. Additionally, some paid operatives are following him around, and Martian questions why such close examination is necessary. He is informed that all of this is simply the usual procedure when he brings up the issue with his boss, Henry Ogletree, who is currently the director of operations at the American Embassy in London. He eventually grows accustomed to the monitoring and occasionally even addresses his stalkers directly, engaging in conversation and even delivering them food and coffee in a courteous manner. Martian eventually meets his handler, Naomi, who had been his only point of contact with the CIA for the previous six years, when he joins the London CIA headquarters and is hailed by everyone for his amazing job in Ethiopia. Naturally, though, he questions why he was abruptly returned to England and, more especially, how he was exfiltrated from Ethiopia so quickly. Martian had been told to leave Ethiopia and return to England in just 48 hours, even though he had lived there for six hard years and had established a credible identity. In order to be prepared to return to his own country, he had to abruptly append his whole existence there and follow the agency's instructions. For this reason, Martian attempts to find out who specifically ordered his return and why he was given this abrupt directive, but he hasn't heard back as of yet. Even though Martian is currently in charge of managing a recent development in Eastern Europe that has caught the agency by storm, Henry acknowledges that this was not the reason he was invited back because it was impossible to foresee such a scenario beforehand. For the time being, Martian is also tasked with training an agent who will soon begin working as an undercover agent, and he gets to know her. Henry wants Martian to provide Daniela Ruiz Morata, the agent who will soon be deployed to Iran, the finest preparation possible for such a challenging assignment. When Martian and Daniela are in a London restaurant, he gives her a very brief task, to quickly learn the names, occupations, and phone numbers of two random males who are there. Daniela uses her charm to rapidly obtain all the information, but one of the males shows interest in her. As an undercover agent, Martian warns her that she should never employ such strategies for fear of people becoming overly interested in her. He suggests that doing so might result in unwelcome relationships and connections, which would undoubtedly cause issues down the road. Based on his personal experiences, he suggests that she be interesting to those around her but yet forgettable so that no one would be too concerned if she abruptly vanished one day on CIA orders. It's interesting to note that Martian learned all of this from his own experiences in Ethiopia, even though he had broken these fundamental spy game rules, more on that in the following section. In order to fit in on Tehran streets and avoid drawing attention to herself, Daniela is still being trained in Street Farsi. When she is prepared to go on her mission, she meets Naomi and a few other agency employees, where her old passport is destroyed and a brand new identity is made for her. Daniela, who studied engineering, previously attended a conference in Israel. This information has to be deleted from the databases right once to prevent any issues for her trip to Iran. She is then given the specifics of her assignment, which include seeing Professor Reza Mortazevi and first landing a research position at the Institute of Geophysics in London. 
Mortazevi, a seismology specialist at the London School of Sciences is in charge of an exchange program between the University College of Tehran and his school. So that she may obtain a highly legitimate visa to fly to Iran and avoid any issues with the authorities, Daniela must impress him intellectually in order to be chosen as one of these exchange students. Once in Iran, she must get information about the nation's nuclear engineers and their ongoing research, which she must then secretly provide to the CIA. All of this may seem daunting, but Naomi informs Daniela that the hardest aspect of the job is really assuming a totally false identity and coming to terms with the fact that she won't be able to live as her true self for a while. In the end, Daniela agrees to every condition and is observed establishing a relationship with a professor at the Institute of Geophysics in an attempt to be chosen as a research fellow. See you eventually on another engrossing review. Thanks for watching. Remember to share, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.